You know, I was thinking about calling this video Scared Ducks, but that didn't work. So I'll just stick with Fear of Failure, Scared of the Internet, but you want to make money online. That's, that's it. I don't get it, but we're going to talk about it in just a few seconds. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu, where your real education begins. About to do something a little different. I'm getting rid of my email list, that's right, and I'm replacing it with the Hustlers Kung Fu Drops. What's that? AM Hustle, PM Hustle, and other things that just doesn't make sense for an email, but I know will help you be more successful and help you win. First link below, grab a piece of the action. Let's get into this video where people are scared. Just scared. They're so scared. Just, it's ridiculous. I got a survey going on for a special project that I'm doing. And I'm also culling people, or getting rid of people. Because there's some things going down. But, how do you expect to make money online when you're afraid of the internet. I mean, I, I sat down and it took a few days to write up these questions and people were answering us, I don't shop online, I don't do anything online, I'm a member of a few Facebook groups, I didn't even get into the specifics of the Facebook group, but I, I, I don't know, I don't know. But long story short, if you are not natively interested in the things that make the internet hum it's going to be a challenge for you to make money online i'll talk about how i started to make money online from a pure digital citizen standpoint first thing was i've been selling stuff online since 2000 and it was physical products for a long time I did the eBay thing, I did the Amazon thing, had my own website thing, never did the affiliate marketing thing. But I've always advertised and marketed online. I was on MySpace, I jumped on Facebook when it happened. I remember when you had to get an, inv an invite from Gmail to have a Gmail account. I got my first invite off the free section of Craigslist. And when Craigslist came to Atlanta, I was all over it. So where I'm going with this is, if you have no natural interest in how the online world works, if you're just really interested in consuming it and tasting it, but you're not interested in building it and learning how it works, you're gonna struggle so much. It's gonna be a big, big struggle because how did I come on the YouTube in 2009 and in a really short period of time, you know, three months from scratch to start making money, wasn't a lot of money, but I was thrilled. I was thrilled that I put out my book and I put the links under the channel and I had to do it manually. There was no mass tools like there are now. And I went to sleep and I woke up with $90 in my um, to checkout account. I was thrilled. I was over the moon happy. I made some money from something that I created. It was a moment and I haven't stopped since. I give you the tools for you to be successful, but this is the problem. This is the big problem. Success doesn't come fast enough for you, Jimmy. Yes, Jimmy's a real name. Jimmy wrote me one of those emails. And it was like, hey, Glendon, how you doing? Long time viewer, love your content. I got a question. I don't have a job or I hate my job, I don't have much money, what do you have that you could give to me for free 
that's going to make me a lot of money. And, you know, the first time I got that kind of email, I was like, nah, this has got to be a joke, right? Not a joke. People are serious as our attack. The problem is, that's what happens when you consume the internet. That you think there's this magical methodology that doesn't require any effort, doesn't require any knowledge, doesn't require any skin in the game, that you could just come out of nowhere and start making bucket loads of cash online because you're consuming the internet when you become an architect of the internet when you've had i've had constant contact a weber get response i mean there's a lot of email clients i've had back in the days before they changed all the spam laws i used to literally throw people on my constant contact email list someone would email me about a product I would manually throw it in there and I would email market to these people that I added to my list unintent you know without their permission you know what my open rate was on this email list take a guess put it in the comments take a guess it's gonna shock you it was 70 to 90 percent on some days and I had very few people unsubscribe. Now, compare and contrast that to the day, I have people who get on the list who know that they're signing up for an email list and get mad when they get an email. The internet has changed so much. And part of that is people, more people are wired, people are more comfortable doing certain things. There, there, there's a lot to it but what I'm saying to you is if you're an architect of the internet if you're building apps if you're building websites if you're selling products if you're doing this stuff you see these changes on a very what's the word subter you, you see it from the underground you see it it's not even up close and personal you see it from the DNA level you see it on the molecular level I mean it's beyond granular it is like down to neurons and atoms you see that and you're able to forecast some stuff like uh, this thing that I started people don't read emails I mean you get a bunch of people on your email list and they may mean to read it may run out of time it's just like if it's long we're not going to do it but putting it in audio form it's more palatable it's something you can do when you are driving you know like this or, run, or getting groceries or on your way to work or on your way home from work this is an easier way for you to consume now i didn't get to this position overnight i thought about it several times just didn't do it and i made a commitment to getting rid of traditional emails which i know people like oh email's not dead and uh, it's not it still works you can still make a boatload of money but i know where we're heading based upon not being afraid of the internet now i'm going to give you a solution because i'm not just going to talk junk about you jimmy i'm going to give you a solution on how you can get over your fear and it's not going to be the normal well, put out a blog. No, 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 no. You got to get comfortable with doing the things that you want people to buy from you. If you sell physical products online, you should buy physical products online. If you sell online coaching online, you should buy online coaching online. I remember I was in a group and someone put in one of those, what I call the... Uh, amazing results for little efforts post and it was just like hey my client it wants a heavy hitter blah 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 someone that can sell you know fifty thousand dollar courses then i was like hey do this because you know they were making all this money right they're always making a lot of money why don't you buy a fifty thousand dollar course and reverse engineer it i got no response 
I got no response. Do you know that if you buy one of those fifteen hundred, you know, hundred dollar course, two hundred? Well, let's let's get away from. Let's say a thousand dollars to ten grand. You buy one of those courses. Not only when you buy it do you get the information in the course, but as you buy it, you get a lesson on how to sell that course. This is what I'm talking about when you become an architect of the internet versus a consumer. A lot of this fear goes away. A lot of this craziness goes away. And more importantly, much of this crazy expectation stuff goes away. I make changes on this YouTube channel and other processes. It sometimes takes weeks to see results. It is what it is. Uh, I'll test out something and it won't work. That's normal. <laughs> That's normal. And the sooner that you accept the fact that you will work really hard and you'll, you'll put up a bunch of turkeys and things won't work and then one day you'll put some together and you'll wake up to like crazy amount of money in your account and you're like shit that was amazing and it, it wasn't that it was amazing it's that you stuck with it that long to see the results all of that stuff that you did to get you to that point is exactly the things that you needed to do to gain the information, the exposure, all of this stuff to get to that successful whatever. Because typically it's not gonna come overnight. And right now we, we have a bunch of what I call one year, two year stars that they come on and they just blow up. But frequently when I get close to these people and I find out they were working 90 hour weeks. That was the only thing that they were working on. That's what they were doing. Day in, day out, getting it, um, going hard, working crazy hours, um, doing things that normal people don't do over and over. And that's the reason that they became successful much faster than other people because they were putting in a year's worth of work in three to six months or they were putting in maybe two years worth of work in a year or even more but if you find i mean it's a challenge it's not impossible it's not against the odds it's just a matter of you embracing the real principles of becoming successful online. And a lot of that has to do with stop being afraid of the internet, Jimmy. Stop being afraid, you know, just put this out here. Chances of you doing something online and to you know build a business, the chances of you losing money is not a possibility, it's a guarantee because you don't know what you're doing. And you've got two ways to do this. You can go ahead, figure it out yourself. Many people have, many people will continue to do that. And that's gonna cost you the most money. However, you're gonna remember those lessons for a long, long time. A long, long time. So that's a good way to learn. The second way is to find yourself a mentor that you respect. Because when you respect your mentor, you listen to your mentor. That can be a coach, that can be a book, that can be a YouTube channel, that can be a podcast, that could be a multitude of things. That could be um, blog, so many things. Just find yourself something to attach yourself to and not only read what they put out but begin to consume and begin to implement 
mean really consume it on a deeper level than just reading it read it take notes watch it watch it again then take that information and apply it to something as fast as you can one of the big issues that I have with people who don't have a business that never made money online isn't that they don't know we all had a period where we didn't know this or that it's this steadfast refusal to let go of this notion that you're gonna make so much money so fast with little to no effort with little to no knowledge just for showing up it's just not gonna happen I know Jimmy I'm like you know Easter Bunny doesn't exist Santa Claus doesn't exist none of those motherfuckers exist but I'm here to help you properly format your mind for your future because see this is something else that's gonna happen right now we have all of this thing these things going on with Facebook video live video everybody's running there everyone's running there and what's gonna happen is as people go into the video space they're gonna go into the video space with shitty cameras shitty production value uh, shitty expectations no script no hooks and then they're gonna like see those internet people lied to me once again did no no they didn't lie <laughs> they didn't tell you everything but they didn't lie is you you're gonna see that because right now live video is the big thing and I do live video on Facebook but I'm not getting carried away with it because what happens and this is you know internet stuff what happens when a bunch of people get a hold of something it's a trend and the fa Facebook live video is trending but see, this is what's gonna be a big problem with Facebook Live Video. It's gonna heavily favor fuckery, politics, um, people getting hurt, um, humor, pranks, comedy, and cute little kittens, and cute little babies, and the baby dancing, and the dog talking. That stuff is gonna win all day long. It's gonna win. But if you are in that position of trying to educate people, sell people stuff, it's a slower path. When, you know, I was talking to someone, <laughs> you know, Chewbacca mom, if you believe that thing just happened organically, okay, I got some land I want to sell you at the bottom of the Pacific. She became a star overnight. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a parallel. And if anyone that's listening to this lives in Georgia and been there a while, if you remember when Zell Miller instituted the lottery for the state of Georgia, it almost didn't pass, but they voted on it and it passed. When the lottery hit Georgia, everybody was winning. Scratch off, you buy six scratch off tickets, four of them were winners. Now, what did people do with that money that they won? They reinvested it back into the lottery. This went on for about six months. Everyone was winning, scratch, pick six, scratch offs. People that you know, it's like, yeah, John won $2,000, what? Let me go down here and put my numbers in. This was going on and on and on. Then slowly, people stopped winning as frequently as they did. But see, they were already hooked. And you're gonna see people who are gonna win on Facebook video. You're gonna see stars emerge, people you never heard of. They're gonna get these big contracts. They'll be on Ellen. And you'll be like, man. And then what you'll see is they pulled out their cell phone and they hit record. And you'll be like, I can do that. You're being sold a dream, Jimmy. You're being sold a dream. There ain't no steak. <laughs> like the Matrix. There ain't no steak. So you might be one of those people who um, gets the dream. You might be one of those chosen people. 
or you could do something much better and something that has much more certainty you can choose to be successful by becoming an architect of the internet taking your lumps taking your hard hits uh, and understanding that you can win it's just not going to be as fast as you think it should be it's just not all right if you're still here I'm gonna sell you something now this is a little different very very different I thought that I had told people exactly how I do what I do because there are people who's just like yeah, Glendon you, you said this and this this but what did you really do and I thought about it have I really put out the whole process and that's like well let's find out so I'm creating this program and it's a group it's a group only and it's called digital citizen and what I'm gonna do in this group and this is not for everybody this is only for people who have a marketable skill see I am not going to try to teach you any skill in this group I'm going to take what skill you have and teach you how to use that skill to make money and that's why I said it's not for everyone because there's many people who just don't have marketable skills which is why they're poor and I'm not being mean it's just factual if you're struggling every month year after year after year you don't have a money problem you have a skill problem so I'm gonna take your skill and then we're gonna create an ebook and we're gonna create a marketing device you must have a marketing device to be successful online you can pay for Facebook ads that will get you a win but this is the thing because going through the content of the video there's a lot of people who spend money on Facebook ads and they're trying to get out of it now why are you trying to leave this so-called super successful thing this is what's happening it's called compressed margins they're spending more money for less results because as Facebook ads grow in popularity more people buy them the juicier keywords are harder to get the juicier audiences are harder to get and that's happening but because of the story that Facebook put out for years and years and years people are gonna continue to buy ads and people are gonna like lose their ass and they'll be told well you didn't run your campaign right when the reality is you need to fully understand Facebook ads damn near at an expert level to be able to spend $25 and turn it into a hundred which happens and is doable and they'll always be on the table but you need to have that knowledge now what I'm talking about is radically different you build a tribe you build a community and you build products around that community that's gonna be digital citizen and you'll get to see me do two bills for myself YouTube for business and this new channel that I'm gonna start doing which is I quit my $300,000 a year job for YouTube it's gonna be a lot of fun stuff there so you, I will be participating in this and it won't be just like well I did this in 2009 it will be well hey you're doing this here right now and you know I'm giving you information on what works right now because I'm doing it right now and I figured that's the best way to run this course because that way you are assured that you're getting current information I've already done it with one person and it's worked out very well and I'm gonna do it open it up to a small group because the thing is it's gonna be a hundred dollars a month open in if you want out you can get out anytime you want but I don't expect that many people to be in the group I just don't so I will be able to give people more attention now we're not gonna be getting on the phone you know no 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 that's higher level stuff but I will be this will be the only group that I'll be active in because I canceled everything else I deleted my hustlers kung fu page I just streamlined a lot of stuff and got rid of a lot of stuff so this will be the only group that I'm in it's it nothing else be the digital citizen group and we'll you know chat up I'll put in articles I'll write articles 
and I will give you the process from day one and we're gonna go back from years and years and years and I'll show you behind the scenes stuff of me building out my new internet assets so that that's it so if you want to be part of that links below and I will add you to the group and then I'll send you an email saying hey how you doing and I'm gonna ask you what is your marketable skill so think about that because and I'll tell you if the group's not a good fit for you because you may have something that can make money locally or it may be something that you figured out and you can make a lot of money but it's not going to be something that you could take and write a book about and make money with it just just going to be very truthful in that regard versus just saying, gassing people up and saying anything you can make a lot of money no 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 <laughs> you, you will have unicorns in that space so that's it links below i'm gonna leave it at 100 bucks until i get to a certain level because once i get to a certain level then the price will go up to filter out just the merely interested people so you got a little time to jump in don't know when i'm not gonna put a date on it but the links below and we start immediately